Total War Warhammer 1. The game that started Creative's Assembly's epic journey to create the most complete Warhammer game strategy Warhammer game ever. Now look, I know Warhammer 3 has a lot of problems. It's buggy, it has a lot of AI problems, sieges are a fucking nightmare still, but no one's gonna say that Warhammer 3 is better than Warhammer 1. I don't think there's, uh, unless they're like, they, they went in a coma in 2016 and they're not aware of Warhammer 3's existence. So I really was curious, how poorly aged or good aged, it, it, it could have aged good or bad, has Total War Warhammer 1 done the past seven years? And the only way to figure that out is to do an entire campaign. Which I did. This took 12 and a half hours. Good God. So. How I spent 12 and a half hours completing this. Here is the Age of Peace message. After you defeat the Warriors of Chaos. You, you win the Chaos Invasion. Chaos is no more. Here is the long campaign victory win. Control the entire empire to wipe out the vampire counts and ensure that our count is dead. So, it took me 12 and a half hours. And what do I think? I think there's a lot of fucking problems with this game, but I I had fun, you know, which shows that even the first Warhammer game, however outdated it may be, is still fun. So, let's start with what Let's start with the visual style. I'm gonna sound a fucking crazy, but I, I really like how it looks. That's not the crazy part. The crazy part is I kind of think it. Okay, no, no, no. I should rephrase this. The game runs so much better than Warhammer Three, like so much better. 60 FPS, like no stuttering, perfectly running excellent rendering i also kind of think the way like the map is sculpted looks better like the mountains are more detailed and articulated the trees are still just the trees are just fucking png images i mean that the trees in warhammer 3 are better but i think what really sets us apart is the um the tone with the graphics because here it's a lot darker more grittier like, if we look at the... Oh, jeez, what the hell? If we look at, like, close up, it's a lot more, like, unknown. And, like, the chaos corruption, like, you can see, comparing the regular uncorrupted land to the corrupted, it really shows. And well, also the lava and the mammoth tucks that appear out of the ground. How does that work? Um, so, and the vampiric corruption is more, like, swampy and there's a lot of spider webs i like it i think the game looks good runs great but i think warhammer 3 looks better because i think it just looks better the way the models and all that but runs way more terribly like so much more poorly partly because it's a much much bigger game but also come on surely you guys can uh, I think some optimization work should be done. So, in terms of the game's visuals, looks pretty good. Every all, A lot of the locations, based on who owns it, look unique. Like, look at Bretonia. Looks more lush and green and alive. The Wood Elves forests are just... They're just magical forests. They look cool. And another example here is the Wood Elves have part of this area, and, like, the tree here is different. This is also in Warhammer 3, but I just think it looks pretty cool. I, it is kind of stupid how, like, Kislev, a frozen place that has, like, no vegetation, suddenly is a fucking forest everywhere, but whatever. So, what else is good? Um, I... Uh, hmm, what else is good? Uh, 
Oh boy. Um, no, no, wait, hang on. I kind of like the narrative it was going with. Like, the, in Warhammer 1 and 2, when you start a campaign, whether it be in the base game here or Mortal Empires in Warhammer 2, you had like a chapter, like, you were, it was like a book, like chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. And it was simple. You, you, uh, collect settlements, you occupy settlements, and there's bonus objectives, similar to, like, past games, like a Total War Attila, for example. And it makes you feel like you're slowly growing out an empire, and after a while, you know, the chaos invasion happens, and that's, like, your turning point. Like, you, you've grown your empire to it, but you're, like, still, like, nowhere near as powerful as you could be. You know, you wiped out your main enemy, which, whether it be the green skins, dwarves, but now, the chaos invasion here is the end times are coming. You know, and multiple waves come down. And you know, it's I'll give it credit. It is a way better chaos invasion than whatever the hell they had in Warhammer 2. And better than most of the endgame scenarios for Warhammer 3. Because in those, it just happens. It's not really explained how the dwarves all of a sudden have thousands of armies and troops. Or how the... I mean, the only one that could make sense is the Tomb Kings. They just summon a bunch. You know, the Black Pyramid of Gash. The Vampire counts to an extent because it's undead. But, like, yeah, expecting, like, thousands of greenskins, dwarves just to appear and just starting fucking shit up. That's ridiculous. Here, the Chaos Invasion makes sense. It is the turmoil of the land. You know, Archeon has rallied all the Chaos clans together to destroy the world. Which is apparently Earth. The game says it's Earth. That's, I did not know that. I thought this was a different planet. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, I think that part is also kind of interesting. And you know, the Chaos of Asia, you know, it burned all of Kizla down. It burnt some, a couple things here. But the problem is, though, it comes from just one location. So like, if you're like anywhere else in the map, if you're like in the Badlands, the mountains, Bretonia... You're never seeing them. It, it's never going to happen. The Empire is the main faction to play if you want to fight Chaos. So, yeah, that's oh, that's alright. I'm, I'm going to give that a pass. And I think that's where my positive is in. Yeah, this game, um... It, it, it's aged very badly, guys. Where do I begin with this game? Okay, let's start with the map layout. Alright, here is Reichland. All right, looks pretty normal. You have Aldorf, Grunberg, uh, Eihart, and Helmgard. Now, Helmgard is part of Aldor, I mean, Reichlin, which isn't totally weird. It still can act as a buffer with this mountain here. So you put a garrison building in, and yeah, it should be good. So that's not that's not a problem. Now let's look at uh, let's look at uh, Talabeklin. Now, do you guys see a problem here? Because as I certainly do. Talabeklin's fucking empty. There's Kemperbad and Talabai. That's it. There's like, there's nothing else. Why is this, why is this place so big if there's only two cities? And that, that's a common problem here. Like, look at this. There should be, like, you know, in Warhammer 2, they put more cities, which is good. What else? Uh, Middenheim, Middenland is three, which is okay. Marienburg is two, which is kind of stupid, so they put a city here. Nordland's okay. Ostland's fine. Oh, Ostelmark. <laughs> These two cities. Essen and Beckefender. Yeah, the layout is just bad. Kieslev is weird. It's like, so Kieslev isn't like its own province. It's part of a province. Like Erengrad and Prague. And I, it's, it's works. But where, okay, so it's okay so far what I've shown you, but really, what where it really messes up is the Badlands. Let's look, look at this place. What the hell is going on here? Why? All, there's like, it's all so far apart and separated. I think the biggest problem, no, the biggest problem is when you get to here. This corner is just a mess. And that's because... Warhammer 1, it ended at the Badlands. It didn't go into the desert. So, yeah, that's your, it just had a sharp cutoff. And, yeah, I just don't think the layout of the 
map is good. It's quite bad. Estalia is these three. I mean, Talea only has two. The Border Princess, I only have four. It's ridiculous. In terms of uh, the factions, there's literally... This, this is the biggest reason why you should not go back to this game. There are literally no factions. Okay, you have the Empire, the Dwarves, Vampire, Counts, Greenskins, Wood Elves, Norska, Bretonia, and Beastmen. That's it. That that you only got eight factions. Now, granted, there's no th there's really no reason to come back here, guys. There's eight factions that are just better in Warhammer two and three, so there's literally no reason to come back here and play this. In terms of diplomacy, diplomacy is a disaster. Okay, trade agreements they're good. You know, wars all right. Alliances are terrible there's no point to them you just get an alliance you know and you just give them a war coordination you know that lovely system there's no outposts which sucks and it, it, there really is no point so yeah that sucks with diplomacy what else sucks with this game oh yeah i have so obviously this is kind of unfair to say but okay in Warhammer 2 and 3, the technology, the Empire is completely different. They have the elect they have the Imperial Count, they have different technology tree, they have, you know, you can't just declare war on all of the other Elector accounts. You, it'll affect your Imperial authority. You gotta manage the Empire. Here, all you have is an office. You just put a lord in and you give them an office. The technology tree, you need to build that building. To use to to start researching it. So not only do you have to build it first, you gotta then spend like fifteen turns to do it. It these are these take way too long, and they're so long and they're, they're not even that helpful. There's a couple of ones like this one's good, that one's okay, that one that one helps, that one also helps, but the rest are just garbage. They're really bad. Oh yeah, and this is. I'm glad they changed this one because it like oh what's that oh look at this there's a there's this uh desolated sum it's called occupy it oh what I can't why not oh because it's a fucking mountain yo that would be stupid to settleize a mountain what do you think you are a dwarf go back to your city in the plains yeah that's really stupid only the dwarves can colonize the Mountains, which I, I mean, thematically it makes sense, but that's also really stupid. Like, come on, I want to conquer the whole map. How can I go into chaotic Norska and take every single one of these cities as the Empire, but I can't settle a mountain right next to Marienburg? It's stupid. Um, there's more. What, I, I, where's my list? I wrote, I wrote down a list of everything I didn't like. I just, the, the game's too easy. The auto resolve is broken. Like, it take a look at this. Take up the oh, pace. Get back here. Like, look at this auto resolve. Really? Okay, well that one's not too shocking. But guys, the auto, the auto resolve is just broken. Step to like, I think it. Yes, is, my lord. You know, just yeah, we'll colonize it. Sure. So, with the biggest problem I had, like, it was way too easy just to like. Autosolve, like the chaos, the final chaos invasion came with Archon and, and three other, there's four armies. So I just put four armies together and I just auto resolved it. That, I, I, that's it. The chaos invasion's done. It, no more. I auto resolved the chaos invasion. There's, that's it. We're all, we're all to save. What? Seriously? Come on. That's so ridiculous. That's so stupid. It, it's so dumb. We shouldn't be able to auto resolve the chaos invasion. Oh, uh, what else is there? Oh, wait, oh, yeah, there's, um, there's a complete lack of, like, units. So the Empire isn't too noticeable. You have most of the things here. You got the basic infantry. You got that. You know, the Empire doesn't have the biggest effect of it. But, like, the dwarves... I think, I, I think when it comes to the basic 
main game factions that are all there, but like the Beastman got multiple DLCs that added more units and they're not there. You know, like it's just a mess. There's, there's like, you could just, you know, no, the problem is you could just spam the basic units. I mean, look at these stats here. I just spammed them. And it just breaks the game. What, what's the point? There's no need to f fight the game. There's no need to fight the battles if you just auto-resolve it. Because the auto-resolve sucks. I mean, yeah, at least in, you know, it does the stupid bar thing. Like, in Warhammer 3, it has, it tells you clearly what is going to happen. And in Warhammer 2, in this game, it's a bar. You have to guess if... The, and there's a chance you just might lose, even though you have overwhelming forces. It just lose units for no reason. It's it's a mess. Uh, what else is there? Let's go through it. Uh, objectives, yeah. Technology is bad. Treasury. I, I do like how they put a button for the faction summary. You know, the time... The uh, time lapse is... Well, I mean, it's a time lapse, but it's still pretty cool. Look at it go. Wow. And your statistic. So yeah, this game has aged very poorly. But you know, as crazy as it is, there's some things this game, other things this game does right. First of all, every faction you play, when you choose it and you start the campaign, it plays a 3D rendered cutscene. The only Warhammer game to do that. Warhammer 2 and 3 have like 2D drawings with dialogue. At the very least, Warhammer 3 is more interesting with it. And the Chaos Dwarves and Warriors of Chaos for Realm of Chaos, they have 3D rendered cutscenes. But here, it's like actually fully modeled stuff and like multiple things moving around. Like, <laughs> it's the advise the advisor. There's a like, look at the advisor. So, well, where are you? No, I can't even bring him up. The advisor is an old man, like really old and crippled and corrupted by chaos and he's like going wandering around and showing up at the empire or like the dwarves or in the fucking chaos realm just to meet the faction leader it's it's stupid but it's funny but it's good it's cool another thing i like is this automatic thing you just scroll back and you just get a strategic overview that shows you the cities you own allied forces you know factions that like you that hate you I think, I think, I wish, I think it's quite simple. I mean, yeah, you just hit the diplomacy screen and Warhammer 2 or 3 and it shows you, but like, why not just make a scroll and just not, it's just more handy, I feel like. Um, I, um, uh, yeah, no, this game is, this game is aged very poorly. Don't come back to it, for the love of God. Go, if you don't like Warhammer 3, Play Warhammer 2. If you like, if you don't like that, don't play Total War at all. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. This is a. It's it's not terrible. I mean, I still think you should buy it to get played as all the factions because there are fun. The, the Empire's fun. The Dwarves are outdated. The Vampire counts aren't that good. Oh, no, the Greenskins are great. And the, I think the Beastmen are good now. I don't know. I I haven't played them, or the what else. Yeah, just don't come back here. Don't don't come back to this game. Stick to literally any other Total War game. No, okay, I take that back. That original War game. Okay, this is gone too long. I'm gonna end the video now. Don't come back to this game.